What's that one chore that you hate doing the most? All right, so when is the last time that you have said, I can't wait to get off work so I can clean? Well, if you're me, you pretty much say it every day because I do love to clean. <laughs> but, um, so what I've done here is I've just done the drapes behind my love seat in my living room. And I want to show you too, well, I've got this box out here. This vacuum comes with this bag. I'm going to show you this in a minute, but it comes with this attachment here for sucking up like anything that's like wet. It's got this one for crevices. It's got this one. This one's really cool. This is for pets. So it's not going to hurt the pet. This is a vacuum, but you also have a blower tool here where you can inflate, where you can inflate like um, inflatable mattresses and stuff like that. And then this is one of my favorite things. I've already used it. So it goes into this piece right here. This is flexible. This goes into your dryer and cleans out your um, lint trap so that you don't have a dryer fire. So then we've also got the sweeper attached. We've got the other attachment for dusting and we have this attachment here that I've used for the drapes. So there's that. And I'm going to show you this bag. Do you have hardwood or tile floors? Do you hate sweeping? This attachment also has that horse hair on there. Look at this. So there's some crumbs on the floor. One swipe picks up everything. More crumbs. High traffic areas. So this thing is going to vacuum. It's going to allow you to sweep your floors. The whole time it's sanitizing and purifying your air while it's doing this. This is real dirt from a real home with four people and two dogs. All right, one thing that I hate doing the most is baseboards. The attachments swivel. Every single one of these attachments swivels. I can do my baseboards with this sweeper attachment as well as walls if I wanted to. Look how easy that is. It's literally, I'm doing it with one hand while I'm holding my phone. Cleaning the baseboards, getting all this dust and dirt sucked up with one hand. This is one of the things that sold me on this vacuum because I do not like to do baseboards. So, with this attachment, I clean my baseboards. I can do my walls if I need to, or if I just want to. You can vacuum your walls with this thing. You can go above your door frame. <laughs> can do everything with this vacuum. I absolutely love it. We've got pets. I'm gonna get rid of that pet hair. Check this out. Look how fast and easy this is. All I did was take my rainbow wand apart in the center and I put this attachment on. This attachment is awesome. A little some more dusting here on my tables or in my front room. You can dust any surface on here. I'm not gonna tear anything up. I'm not gonna scratch anything. A lot of dog hair. This just makes quick work of having to clean. Mainly because I really hate dusting. I have this huge mirror in my front room, which I love the mirror, but I hate dusting it. I feel like I'm constantly cleaning it. I also have a bunch of wall art that I'm constantly having to dust, but thanks to this vacuum, this is going to make quick work out of dusting my furniture. And remember, this vacuum does not have a filter. Water is the filter. So everything that's getting sucked in is being trapped into the water. Nothing is getting out into your air. Cutting my work in half because I don't have to go get a rag, get the glass cleaner, clean the glass, and then come back 
with a rag and dusting polish or a slipper duster to do the ledge of the mirror. I'm getting it all done in one swipe. And it's doing a really good job of getting all the dust off of the mirror. It's gonna cut my cleaning time down. So now, my work here is done. So now I don't have to go get dusting polish, glass cleaner, any of that. I can just get it all done, no more dirtying up rags and having to wash them. It's done with the vacuum, everything's sucked up, and there's no dust particles flying around in the air. Okay, so the rainbow vacuum does not use a filter. They use water as a filter because when you're using a traditional filter, it sucks in a lot of dust and dander and hair, but it also leaves some stuff behind. Well, with water, once the dust and hair and everything is caught in the water, it cannot go back out into your home. So... I've cleaned this out, I've put fresh new water in, and you know how you use like the Bissell or the Spot Bot or any type of those like carpet cleaning machines? When you go to empty the water it smells so disgusting. Well with the rainbow, it's never going to smell disgusting because it comes with these four scents. So you get berry, lemon, orange, and eucalyptus. So when you put one of these in, all it takes is a few drops, it's going to freshen your home, sanitize your air. And when you go to dump out this nasty, dirty water after you're done cleaning, it's not going to stink. It's actually going to smell pleasant. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some of the lemon oil in this water. Just put a couple squirts in there and it actually smells really strong. It smells like you've been cleaning all day long. Put some of this in here, just like so. That's all you need, just a little bit. And... Now my house is going to smell like I've been cleaning all day. What I'm going to do now, just go over some of the drapes in my living room and a little bit of the hardwood floor. I'm going to pull my love seat out from the wall and get behind there. All right, so I've got this attachment on right here. This is the attachment that's got the holes up here. It's also got the faux horsehair bristles. All right, I'm just going to start at the top. I'm doing this on level three. You can see it's leaving little vacuum lines in the drapes as I go. But it's just gonna pull all the dust and dirt out without sucking them off the wall. After just doing the floor behind the love seat, and yes, that is the old robo back down there, which doesn't really work anymore. And um, I got tired of buying the replaceable legs for that so um not legs brushes for that so all i did was pull my love seat out from the wall and vacuum the floor behind it which is not very much space all i've done was pull the love seat out from the wall and vacuum behind there and then i did the drapes all right so we are going to pop this piece off you're just going to pull down on this little trigger here it comes right off I'm going to show you what the water looks like. Just from behind my love seat and the drapes. Is that not disgusting? So gross. There's candy wrappers, all kinds of stuff in here. Yeah, it's gross. Okay. But it does not smell bad because we put that lemon fragrance in there. So let's go dump this nasty water out of the toilet and I'm going to show you. So, I'm going to dump the water out. So that's what we had. A lot of animal hair and like Hershey Kisses wrappers. Yeah, I have kids. So. Alright, we are going to go rinse out the basin and the sink. And then I'm going to show you how to use the bag that came with the vacuum. All right, I've rinsed out the basin. My kids want to put in, well, my daughter wants to put in her little blanket and my son wants to put in a pillow. They've requested the eucalyptus because they sleep with their blanket and pillow. So I'm just gonna put a little squirt in there. Smells good. And I'm gonna show you how to use the bag that came with the rainbow vacuum. 
All right, so my daughter has got the bag here. Look how big that bag is. So you can put your comforters in there. You can put couch cushions, whatever you want to put in here, anything that you want to freshen up. So we're going to throw in my daughter's little blanket that she sleeps with. Um, my son wants to put his pillow in there. Hi, Jordan. You're on video. I know. I'm Teenagers, anyway. And then wow. since we have room, why not throw in this little blanket that I use on the couch while I'm watching TV? We're going to throw all these in, and I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. It's not a trash bag. Okay. My daughter's got the bag open. I'm literally throwing these things right in. You got to put your blanket in there. All right. So this is how easy this is. We're going to suck all the air out of here. So what you want to do, I have removed the attachments from my vacuum here. I've just got this little handle. I'm going to place this inside the bag. What you're going to do is basically put your attachment in there. And if you have some of the... Uh, handle on it's fine but just kind of make a little seal with your hand okay you got this Aaliyah mm -hmm. I'm turn the vacuum on suck all the air out of the bag watch this again you can put your couch cushions in whatever you want to do so you can see it's sucking the air out kind of like one of those vacuum sealer bags you get in the bag really good. Okay. It's going to suck all of the hairs, the dead skin cells, everything out of your blankets, pillows, couch cushions, whatever you put in here. Just let it go. Almost there. Alright, so once it's pretty much got it like vacuum sealed, you're going to turn the machine off. We're going to take and pull this trigger down so that we can unhook it. And we're going to flip. We're going to turn our vacuum to the back. And then we're going to remove this cover here. And we're going to hook it up so you see the magnet right there in the handle. It's going to go toward this magnet here. So, okay. wheels down. Nose up. Easy peasy. Now we're going to turn on the vacuum and it's going to blow that fresh eucalyptus into our bag. And freshen up the comforters, blankets, pillows, whatever you decide to put in here. So, turn it back on. It's just going to bring everything right back to life. And you don't have to seal it tight. Just let it blow that air in there. And now everything is nice and fresh. Turn off your machine. And now the blanket. At the backyard. And the pillow. And my little couch blanket that I like to snuggle with have all just been freshened up. If you have um, couch cushions and your pets get on your couch, you could also put those in there and it'll help just bring them back to life. Comforters. Um, it's a big bag so you could probably fit a bunch of pillows in here and you will get one of these huge bags with your rainbow vacuum. Alright so the water that I used with the eucalyptus to um, freshen up the blankets and pillows it's still clean water. So I'm going to show you what you can do with this vacuum slash air purifier once you are done with your vacuuming and cleaning. So you'll just plug it in, close the lid on it just by pressing it down. You'll press it down till it snaps and I'm going to wrap my cord around. So in the back here there's this little piece that pops up just with the press of a button. Okay, And your cord would then wrap around. So if you wanted to wrap up the excess cord, which I do, 
because I don't want anyone to trip over it. You're just going to wrap it around. And I've got it plugged in over here by our dog kennels. So I just keep it plugged in in between our front room and our living room here. So what I do is I'm going to turn the vacuum on just by pressing the power button here on the top. I'm going to turn the vacuum down by pressing the minus button. I'm going to turn it down all the way to level one. It's very quiet. You can also turn off the LED lights if you want to, but I like it because it acts as a nightlight. Look at that, certified asthma and allergy friendly. So turn it off and let it run. What it's gonna do, it's going to suck in the air. So it's an air, like a home purifier. It's gonna suck in air through here on the front and you can feel it, feel the suction. And, and then it blows the clean air out the back. So you can feel it and you can smell it smells nice like eucalyptus it smells so good so I highly recommend this vacuum um, like I said I'm on day three with this vacuum and I love it my whole house is clean it feels so much lighter in here um, my husband my daughter is helping their allergies and um, I'm just loving everything about it I'm loving that saving me time with cleaning I don't have to clean as frequently anymore because we used to vacuum daily, so I probably will have to um, now maybe clean my floors once a week instead of daily. So, Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.